So I'm working on putting this very large direct drive motor on my Rad Mini, and it has an M16 thread axle on it, which is really, really big. And usually you can only get these very, very small torque arms for these things. And I wanted something beefier, and I wanted something that was gonna really allow me to use this and add clamping so that I can do regen. Because with most torque arms, even good ones, if you have regen on, your axle is going to rotate back and forth and back and forth and back and forth as you switch between regen and drive. And most just don't have the clamping force to stop that. So um, I'm going to use these three bolt holes that you can see there, here, and over here to put a nice big chunk of steel in here that's going to be able to clamp onto this. This is the 3D printed prototype of it. And as you can see, there's a space for the axle, and there's a small space for this little uh, clamping disc that I'm gonna have. And I will drill through the side for two M5 bolts. This is very similar how Grin's most recent V7 torque arm actually works. So this goes on like so. And then this little plate will slide in the side here, like that. And then I'm gonna put the nut on just lightly, just to kind of hold it all aligned. And then you come in here with this guy and you tighten these down. And as you do that, you're clamping the internal plate down across the flats of the axle, giving you zero wiggle room on this. And I can demonstrate that even with this plastic printed version by wiggling this back and forth. And you can see it actually moves the axle and the motor together. So when these are made out of actual metal, this is gonna be very, very solid. Then, you just add a couple of M5 bolts through this and into here. And this will clamp the whole thing together while still leaving room for the fender mounting point. I didn't think it would be worth trying to go over that as well. Also, it's really hard to model these things because there's no drawings or anything for like this online. So I didn't extend it all the way up into here. I would also had to drill out and add mounting holes up there to make that really worth the effort, frankly. And with that, I'll have a really nice torque arm. It's very long, it's gonna have a lot of meat on it and it's going to clamp this motor in place very effectively. Cool.